Hold up, hold up. Let me roll my weed, let me count my money, hold up. Oh, niggas don't pay for the beat. Hamburgers, not the bread of the cheese. Ow! Where you fucking hands at? Fake banging till a real nigga asking you to stay back. Where you from, where you from, nigga? Yeah, yeah. Walk around with a gun, but we know you won't shoot shit. You just ride the wing like you told me y'all, and I got dreams like Hakeem Young Fly, nigga, from the red up. Folks, it's been a long hiatus. I mean, what have we missed? Like two weeks? Two weeks, something like but that. But hey, you know what? No lie, though. With two weeks on the internet, it feels like months. It's like an uh, eternity. You really count no. the minutes. Bro. I really I, do count the minutes. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you because I took a two-week um, break off of making YouTube videos. And I didn't. I felt like I forgot how to make videos. Like, I was like, damn, I got to relearn everything. Like, mm-hmm. I haven't just did it. Like, it, it's it's the wildest thing. But, folks, I'm Baron J67. I'm T. Jones. And uh, and this is Adventures of the Black Nerds. Yep, episode 55. We're doing yep. our thing. Big the numbers. Wild. Oh, bro, the funniest thing I've seen on the internet was, uh, I think it was like one of those bootleg uh those comedy or satire news sites. Uh-huh. And it said the aggro crog still has the countless bodies of teenagers. <laughs> Littered amongst <laughs> it. Stupid. <laughs> what, what was that? Uh, what, what show was that with the aggro crog? Um, Legends of the Hidden Temple? With Let the purple see. monkeys and the silver. Oh, uh, the, yes, the yes. Fish. Bro, the aggro crog used to have. <laughs> He died. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that was like the first Ninja Warrior. Get yeah. to the top of the aggro crog. <laughs> nah, that, nah, I, I couldn't. As a kid, I couldn't get on. That show used to just freak me out. Yes, the dudes popping out the temple? Yeah. Bro, I used to be shook. <laughs> them, I'm good, them dudes bro. Popping out they the used thing. to grab the kids and just disappear. Yes. Oh, His bro. partner's gone. Oh, I quit. Mm-mm. I quit. Like, what do you mean he's gone? I like, quit, what are bro. you? What are you talking about? He's gone. Stupid. No, I legit like that would mess me up. I'm good. It it came back. That no, show I came think back. Just did it as a joke. It was like a funny. Um, well, no, they were talking about bringing it back. Uh huh. Now, I, know I read know, something. I always wanted that. to go on on Nickelodeon. I always wanted to go on the sweepstakes when they would be going through the store, the toy store, and they had to grab as oh, much. Uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> I wanted to go on that so bad. I was like, "Why are they in the toy section? If you don't go to electronics <laughs> and just knock all that down, oh, 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 me! I'm coming with, I'm coming with sixty because it was Nintendo sixty four, yeah, and uh, Super Nintendo. It was Super Nintendos at the time and Segas. I'm coming with the hood. Everybody gonna love me. I'm in fact, like hood, video game Jesus, just Stupid. out there handing them out. Hey, yes, bro. my cop. Yes, yes. Here's your copy. Yes, go in peace. Be yeah, well. I don't. Kids back in the days didn't know what they wanted. Nah, I mean I did. I really did. Shoot, but I you know that. what? Hey, no lie though. I would have. I would. Only time I would ask for stuff was when I had straight A's, Christmas. Birthday, <laughs> yeah, something to back it up. <laughs> yes, I would never because it was all strategic. It was I don't like hearing the word no. Like, don't tell me no because oh, yeah. it makes me mad. No child like we're here. Yeah, no. I, I just I'm like, especially if I don't ask for nothing, we go to the store. I don't ask for nothing, but I didn't ask so for I, anything this time. I like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like I already know you're gonna tell me no, so I'm not asking for nothing. So to get uh to get to like my birthday, well, I used to get a hundred bucks for straight A's. Which now finding out from other people, I was getting gypped. It was like that's all you got. That's all you got. I was like, wait, what do you mean? You, you weren't getting twenty dollars a day. It was like I was getting a hundred dollars a day. What? <laughs> oh, got a man. rich life where you live it. See, but that made me upset. I didn't get nothing for straight days or anything. I got oh, twenty five. I got five dollars a day for lunch. That was it. <laughs> oh, but see, but that's consistency. At the end of the day, you got more money than I ever would. Oh, have yeah, I'm pretty There's sure. More. Bro, there's only three report cards I'm gonna get. So some, you go hey, get your sorry, sorry mama, but some of the report cards you never seen. <laughs> oh yeah, oh bro. When I got older, I realized consistency is key. So I wouldn't show nothing. I could have a great report card, but I wouldn't show nothing, folks. 
this is some bad advice for those young out there. This is terrible advice, but I promise you it'll make your life so much easier. Our kids go see this one day. <laughs> yeah, my kids are gonna listen to this and they're gonna watch this. They're gonna be like, "Oh, that's right." Nah, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Consistency is key. When you do something over and over and over, it now becomes your norm. Mm-hmm. So, if you come home late every day, it's a normal thing. It's not a problem. But when you sporadically come home late, that's all of a sudden when everybody asks questions. Like, damn, why so you don't? Yeah. When I was in high school, I came home late every day. I always had something to do. I would go hang out doing nothing. I would sit. In the I Carl was there Jr. with you. <laughs> yeah, we would sit in the Carl's Jr. doing nothing. Nothing. But we had to make sure to get home when it was kind of dark. Mm-hmm. Because it, w- there was no questions asked. Nope. Because it was normal. Yep. I went home early one day because I had absolutely nothing to do. And my mom asked me what was wrong. And I was like, I messed up. (laughs) I should have sat outside somewhere. Mistakes were made. (laughs) Never again. Learn. Mistakes were made. (laughs) But no, no, you're right. But see, see, with the going back to the report card thing, I had a sister that was right underneath me. So she she will be like, oh, uh, like, hey, can you get, home, get, get the report cards? And she'd be like, but I got good grades. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it doesn't Yo, matter. Go, her, like, no. Nah. <laughs> Put that down. Man, no. Then I, I started getting, like, super paranoid. So I started burning it. Yep. I started burning them. Like, That's like No evidence. No evidence. Nothing. No evidence. Consistency is key. Mm-hmm. No evidence. Um, but do these things at your own risk because you'll, yeah, you'll I ain't telling you to do it. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm just saying. I just know that things were easier when I did things over and over. Yeah, but I'm grown now. Ain't no ass yeah. just giving giving out, right? So now the whole point of that was talking about the hundred dollars. Yeah. Now I would have big dreams of everything I wanted. I'd circle in magazines. I was like, oh, when I get my money, I'm gonna have my dad take me to the store. We're gonna do this. And I'd get to the store, and all of a sudden, it wasn't that important no more. No. I was like, I really got to break this hundred. <laughs> I really got to spend like, this. Give me a hundred dollar bill. Uh-huh. And I'm, mm. No, nobody wants to break that, especially as a kid. Yeah, because that's a million dollars as a mm-hmm. kid, or at least it used to be. But I'm like, mm, do I want this <laughs> game that? Bad. He said I'd be circling the stuff in the magazines. Yeah, bro, I really did. Cause I, what would I get? Was it Power? Uh, what was? What were the Nintendo magazines called? Was it called Nintendo Power? I have no clue. I never oh. got magazines. Oh. But no, but I used to, you know, uh, the Toys R Us circulars. Yeah, yeah. All of that stuff would come come through the mail, mm-hmm. and I would just be sitting there. Circling. Oh yeah, I would get that. <laughs> I remember how they used to like advertise. Certain stuff over the the over tel, uh, commercials, yep. and they were like they had the the address. So uh, I used to sit there and wait for the the commercial to come on, and then as soon as the ad, as soon, I try to write down fast as I can. Sometimes you'll miss it or not see it all, so you had to like wait another time until it came back on. I must did that for a lot of stuff, but I never ended up getting any of that stuff. Yeah, no, no, none of it. Um, I just. It was something else, man. When you got to spend your own money, it, it all turns into mm-hmm. like you start you start sucking your teeth. Like, Ugh. I'm good, man. Nah, I just dad, I, I just dad. wait, <laughs> bro. On some real stuff, there was only one game that I remember. It could be more, but knowing me, this was probably the only game I asked my dad. I went to him like I was probably trying to pull my whole grown man tip, like. Mm-hmm. Hey, Pop, um, I probably even said, like, I don't ask for much, <laughs> like, but I want this game. It was Grand Theft Auto 3. Okay. It didn't, I want to say it didn't come out around a report card, and I didn't want to wait until Christmas. Grand- and I was like, I was like, I want this game, man. Mm-hmm. It was on PlayStation 2, right? Yeah. Yep. I was like, I really want this game. He was like, you serious? I was like, yes. So he had to know. <laughs> For me, like there is no report card in my hand. I didn't do no chores. It was just like nothing special. I just walked nothing up. Special. It was just pop. I don't know who else to go to. I want this. 
Like, I don't want to have to go murder nobody to get it, but I'm just coming to you first. <laughs> see what, Please. See what I want you got going candy. on. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, that, I felt powerful when he said, yeah. I was like, wait, you could just ask for things? See, that's that whole, okay, folks, be careful when you're raising your boys because you, you preach that whole be your own self man thing. But if you do it too early, you'll, you'll force a monster. You'll, you'll create a monster. What did Big Sean say? Uh, something about making money had us doing crazy stuff. Like, you will you will come up with any and everything to not have to ask for help. Yeah, but... When it's you, a good thing. Yeah, because when you... But see, when you did go ahead and ask, it was like, okay, he really wants this. Yes. But or or like even or even about life that I really want, <laughs> and instead of just simply asking the people who provide for me at the time, because clearly I didn't have a job. Okay, who else was my? <laughs> but my question would I be: got creative. Okay, then <laughs> you did you get it? Of course, I got everything. <laughs> all right, all right but, then. But it's just you could. Okay, if I didn't have a halfway decent head on my shoulders, things could have took a terrible path. <laughs> Just to get some stupid stuff that oh, I don't even remember what I wanted. Of course, I mean, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. In, so okay. So in that in mind that mind. Re, in that regards, yes. But I, I think I also think that it was more so. You were gonna get it. Now I think oh, you I'm also had that, like you said, you had that good head on your shoulder where it was like, I'm gonna get it, but I'm gonna do this to you. Like I ain't go- <laughs> no, we was just talking about I'm not going to jail. Going to jail. <laughs> okay, speaking of that, so let's transition. <laughs> so the boondocks are coming back according to John Witherspoon. Season five. I haven't I haven't looked up much more into it because I don't want to get my spirits up because it would break my heart to get all pumped about it and then to find out it's not happening. It's fake. Fake mm-hmm. news. Um, that would really, 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 really break me. So that's why I'm not even getting hype about it. But we got to acknowledge the fact that what we were just talking about being afraid of going to jail because of that one locked up episode with, uh, what was his name? <laughs> I forgot his real name, but, don't, uh, I don't know his real name. I just know. He, all I know is he's the booty war. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, that scared me. Like I, the fact of how sincere. See, it wasn't what he said. It, when somebody is that sincere, like you can just see it, you feel it. They Bro, that is nothing listen, but honesty. This he, man would have said that in front of anybody. But why he said would he, in front of the camera. Why, what reason did he have to lie? He was in jail. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs> this was, man meant that he was in jail was with, the, the, with the with the floppy <laughs> beanie on with, with the Bro. khaki jacket. I'm not Bro. messing with that. What did he say? He's like, oh, them young boys, they're coming here sagging. Yeah, that's cute. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> I was I just quit. shook. Hey, listen. I was so shook. Listen, listen. I'm going to tell y'all something. If if you've never been motivated to not to, to stay out of, out of jail, to stay out of law enforcement interactions, that shit motivated the shit out of that me. Video. I'm that's not... It. I'm not doing oh. nothing. I don't. I barely. I hate running red lights. I feel, I get so paranoid running red lights. Oh, I'm gonna wait that light, man. I man, Bruh, I can't go I'm to jail. Not, dog. As sincere as he was, the pure, the pureness in his words. It was almost calming if it wasn't those words coming out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a small part in the water. When he said that. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute. Life, hydration, the origin of everything what? is more important than that. <laughs> like, I quit. What? I but quit. no, but the boondocks, and we talked about it, we chopped it up earlier um, off mic. The boondocks, and you, actually, you brought up the point that it's uh, it's not like Family Guy in the sense of it's for, it's just absolute current events. Yeah. The boondocks would touch on urban black crazy moments Mm -hmm. that go on in that time frame. Yeah. Like the Terry on Milton episode, Uh, which was classic. (laughs) Um, That was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, R. uh, Kelly. Tyler Perry, R. Kelly. Like it really touched on current things. So, I mean, that would be a great first opener to touch on R. Kelly again. Like, let's say it is legit. Just to 
just to redo our might as well full circle <laughs> ended <laughs> ended ended on something you know I yep. I mean I'm I'm so excited for it because the Boondocks ended abruptly in my life like it really was abruptly I remember literally that was just like how the wire was just like how yeah. Game of Thrones well was now or yeah yeah um what else Spartacus <laughs> About Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, we did not. Oh man. Okay, I'm hold on. Sad. I don't wanna, let me let me dip. You know, I was right. I was right. I was right. I was right. I want y'all to go back and listen to the old episodes. I told y'all. I told you what was gonna happen. Whew. Okay. Um. But no. But we would legit. I interrupted the heck out of that man. Yeah, we man. legit would. Get to talk on Monday morning because it came on on Sunday night, mm-hmm. and we would be sitting in the schoolyard clowning and dying and about, about the episode. It. We couldn't wait until Sunday night. Mm-hmm. But like, it, it was a lot of shows like that, especially going throughout mm-hmm. high school. Like I'm like like I brought up just a few, like a lot of sleepers too, like USA of T- USA of Terror. That was a good show. People oh, forget US about Terror. Yeah, USA Told. Terror. Was a dope show on uh, Sad on Showtime. Endings. Huh? You the both? ending was whack. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't whack. It was just it was unresolved. Put it this way: Game of Thrones had a more answered ending than U.S. of Terror. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but even even that show kind of was all over the place in the aspect like. We know the issue, but there was no like clear cut storyline. There was no A to Z. It was just literally, hey, this is her, and these life. are the woes in her life type deal. But that was one of them shows. Spartacus. I remember Spartacus was that I was the actor got cancer and died. Yeah, and they they, had, what, they put that the, they did two season break, and then they brought in a new actor. Yeah, remember they went to. Spartacus blood and sand or mm-hmm. something like that. And they um, and they did the prequel. Yes, I remember that. I'm it was just a it was just a dope. That was dope. a really dope show. Show. But it was but the Boondocks literally mm-hmm. was everything. Like it was it was like life at that time and it just ended abruptly. Like there was no more. Yeah. So to hear that they're but bringing then Black in Jesus did spawn out of that. Yeah, but Black Jesus, I don't think it didn't catch on as much because I I wasn't as I don't know maybe that was me maybe I was is this the time period that came out I wasn't oh, so sorry, pressed God. to watch what happened no, my bad keep talking I said I wasn't I was saying that um I wasn't so like pressed to watch it like I was were you happy for your light bulb. What the heck? You, you sucking up Aurora? What is wrong with you? Yeah, bro, get ready to launch a sunbeam at your... That's all I'm just about to say. Solar beam! Baron is oh, charging. <laughs> <laughs> bro, oh God. You know I got so mad when I found out that Bulbasaur was a frog? I, I didn't even know he was a frog. It just... He's like a toad. Like, that's... Yeah. I, where'd you hear that from? <laughs> I just I don't know why that. Came I know to they. Mind. I know I do remember people being upset at the uh, when the was the Pokemon Eevee and Pikachu. Let's go Eevee and Pikachu, where you can have like the the Pokemon follow you, and they had Venusaur hopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, they, that, they had Venusaur hopping behind them. I, I don't know. Could you be upset if he was a frog? Like, I wouldn't be upset. It would make more sense. Just it would be better than him. He being was just a, a bo- he was just a Bulbasaur though. Like he was just a Bulbasaur, oh, Ivysaur, and a Venusaur. Like, what animal is that? Life. Like we know Charmander was a lizard. Uh-huh. Squirtle was a turtle. Turtle. So yeah, it makes sense. He was a frog. I'm mad now. <laughs> See, <laughs> be the damn frog. <laughs> he was a frog. I don't want a ribbit. So damn frog, man. Hey, so okay, Game of Thrones. Let's touch on that quick, okay, real quick. Because we got to talk about E three, um, and we got to talk about what we've been gaming on and what we've been looking forward to. Mm-hmm. So, 
Um, so Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. I was right. You were almost right about the democracy thing, and they said, "Ah, oh, hi, they man. almost did it." Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> hey, I was like, they are not gonna do it. They are not gonna I, do it. Okay, so how did you react to the community's uproar over season eight? Okay. It was it was understandable, but they were ignoring a lot of truths and they kind of told you what was going to happen. Mm-hmm. You got to think you had this whole the best way I explained it to people is it was like watching a novella, which is full of drama, full of major. Oh, my God. Moments from season one to seven. Mm-hmm. But that was because you had source material. Season eight. You went from having a novella writer, George R. R. Martin, or yeah. yeah, and then you went to the screen, the guys who wrote uh, the screenwriters for the show for HBO, mm-hmm. and they had to take over and take the information that he gave them and put it into their way. Yeah. So you got people who write American sitcoms, American shows, finishing the last season of a novella. Mm-hmm. No, it, it just it was two different styles of writing. Yeah. And that what the, that was the issue. It was very linear. It wasn't it wasn't bad, except they they took out a lot of stuff. They didn't answer a lot of questions. Yeah. There that... was a lot of things that weren't answered and okay. that became pointless. Like the whole signs of the Nightwalkers, the whole spiral. Remember, the spiral was a big, important thing, mm-hmm. even with the Dothraki around uh, Danny even with uh, every time they would see dead bodies, they'd be put in a spiral. There was a lot of symbolism around that, yeah. and it was for nothing. Then you had, um, you had, um, what's her name, who can change faces, Arya. All of that was for nothing. And you still didn't know whatever happened to her, the guy who trained her. Yeah. Then, oh, go ahead. No, I was about to say, actually, we I spoke on that because somebody okay. somebody brought that up and I was telling them that it kind of makes sense because she kind of learned everything she needed to learn from him and True. he played that his makes part. Sense. That makes sense. I mean, okay, so... That's okay, fair. I go, like that. Go ahead, fin- finish what you're saying because I 100% agree with everything you're saying so far. Um, What else? Uh, I was a thousand percent shocked that the black man lasted the whole show. Okay. Um... <laughs> I would have thought he was going to get murdered horrendously. Um, and Danny, I'm trying to think of everything that went down. Um, I actually felt bad for her because she got right there and did all that. And it still wasn't enough. And she got murdered. Um, the The way they did Jon Snow, remember I said, I was like, he's going to go back up north. Regardless of what happens, he's going to end up back up north Mm -hmm. because it just it called to him. He really resonated with them. His wife in the show and in real life was from up there. Like it it, it just everything about what he was was up there. Yeah. Uh, And they loved him. They he merged together two two countries, you know, um, did things that no other person has done. And then even him coming back to life, they made pointless. You know, a lot of big things, the Azor Ahai, the the one that was chosen, or Mm -hmm. that whole story. So many major plot lines that drove the show. Just died. Just died. Mm -hmm. Like, bang. Um, With me, I loved... I Okay, so like you said, I understood. I understand where it's coming from. I do understand why people are upset. But yeah. I'm out. I was looking at it from more of a basically the if you listen to all the rumors that people were expressing about why they rushed it, why it was so short, we go from a 10, 12 episode seasons and then to to six and then to yeah. another six. Um, it was like th- th- it was pretty much a never ending situation that could go on. It literally could be never ending. Like it could be, they could, if they would have stuck to, if they even in, I guess there was so many different storylines, so many different main characters in there that they could have went a million and one different ways with it. 
any way they would have ended it would have been bad. People would have been mad. I mean, it was extreme. I'm talking about people need people to talk to, people crying. Yeah. It, it was yeah. extreme. So however they ended it would have been bad in people's eyes regardless. I do believe that people, that it, like I said, I understood why people were upset. Because even me, as a, as a Game of Thrones fan, I wish there was more. I wish they would have went into details more about all the things that you, I won't go into it again, you just said it. All those things, if they would have went into more detail, like it was a gang of stuff that just, they just threw it no together. More. Like, it was no it was almost like they were running out of contract time, and nobody wanted to renew it. That's but, that's how they were acting. But that's like why, even the actors didn't even want to do it anymore. That's how it seemed. But that's why the uh, the rumors played such a big part, and I'm, and this is what kind of made me denounce that rumor, like the whole contract thing, when they posted the video or the they posted like the farewells that the actor said. They they posted pictures of like people crying on set at the last cut or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So uh I was like, okay, but the person remember, uh I forget the the lady name, uh what is her name in the show? She's the Queen of the North now. Sansa. Oh, Sansa. Yeah. Um Sansa, yeah. She's in Marvel now. She well yeah. X Men. She her movie yeah. come out. Is it this weekend? <laughs> That's a whole movie coming up. And she's she's been in this is what her third one or her second one? Um, this is her second one. So, she was she was um um Jean. Yeah. In the work before it too. So it's like, man, this there's a lot. I'm not sure what everybody else got going on, yeah. but there's so so many different things you could say. Oh, the writers are going to go work on the Star Wars movie. It, it's just so, so much many things, things you, could, you could say it to you can just pinpoint and try to you know throw a dart at a board and say oh this is the reason why they rushed it but I think any way they would have ended it people would have still been in the uproar people would have still been mad so that kind of brought me back down and then I, and then I think they gave us a lot especially with like the the fight scenes being so technical as a person that's watching it for the technical aspect of it being so technical with the with the with the war with um even with um dang we just said her name it was Arya even yeah. with even with her even with her fighting even with her killing the dude even, remember we we re, when we recapped that episode we was like oh yeah she's going we were so mad like oh she could have been the one to to end this war like oh what if she kills Daenerys because she just yeah. killed the the Night King. Yeah. You, you, it just left us there to have that conversation. And you can go on for days with the storyline behind Game of Thrones. I'm cool with it. I've I've settled with it. I just was shocked that the the community, the the community I, was like they literally a petition to hurt. redo it. Yeah, to they redo were the whole season hurt. eight. And that was crazy to me. They were they were seriously hurt. Now, I think one thing that could have easily remedied the situation, because for one, no, everybody's not going to be happy. Of we, course. We already know. Everybody's not going to be happy. That's, we know that. Now, one thing I think that could have fixed it was chopping it up into three seasons. If you would have did the war with the White Walkers as a season, mm -hmm. and then you would have did the war with Cersei as a season, and then you would have did the war, um, and then you would have did the takeover of Danny as a season, and then you could have ended it the same way. Yeah, it would have people would have it would have been more digestible. But for you to give me three seasons worth of material in six episodes, that's why we lost. That's why a lot of things were unanswered mm -hmm. because you didn't give yourself the time and the space, of course, to but, answer. But see, then, but then you got to go back to. I'm, I'm not sure if it's all fact. Or whatever, the fifteen million dollars an episode type budget mm -hmm. that they yeah. came out and said that they were doing, it was like, yo, fifteen million dollars is a lot. Like I don't yeah. even I don't know how much of that was like, yo, we doing this for the culture, or how much was that was like, yo, that's just the budget we got. That's just what the budget is. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, yeah, because the actors. I mean, you got to think they're seven seasons deep. So I know after my third season, hell, after my first season, I want 
I want friends money. Mm -hmm. Like I want a million an episode. Like no, like Expe especially when, when especially when some of these characters were all main characters. Yeah. Like you can that's the way they told the story. You see what I'm saying? Some of these characters were main character type people. Yeah. Arya became a main character type pe person after a while. Sansa mm -hmm. was a main character person throughout the she whole had thing. All, like, three seasons to herself, you basically. See exactly. John, John died. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. He died yeah. in yeah. this in this so it's like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? So at some point it was you know, just thinking of that one specific thing. Fifteen million dollars an episode? That's the budget? Mm. Man. But but you what know what though? Do? When when it's a breadwinner like it was, I don't think it would have been a bad investment. Um, but hey, it is what it is. They it gave us an ending. There um, there was a lot of things that weren't answered, but major plots were ended. It was clear as day. Like it, it made sense. John John went to the north. Uh, Danny's dead. Um, they went to. They almost did a democracy, like I thought. I'm telling you, I was, you don't understand how happy I was when that happened. Nah, he said it, and they, I was like, I, I knew oh, they was gonna man. laugh at his ass. Nobody takes yeah. him serious. Yeah. Oh no, they don't. Um, but even the way they changed up the way the kingdom is ran. But the one thing out of the whole show that shocked me the most was Grey Worm living. Hmm. Bro, man, survived for what since season three. Yeah. Well, he was the leader. He yeah. He was the chosen one for the Unsullied. Yeah. Bro, he was the Zora High. He was the he yeah. was the light bringer. He was the, yeah, I, the I true warrior. And I, I still think he would have laid hands on Jon Snow. Take plot armor away. He would have whooped Jon Snow. I don't know. Jon Snow died, I though. Think, <laughs> I, the only reason I feel that way is because it's a different fighting style. John is used to fighting brutes, swinging big weapons. This fool been hand to hand combat. It's like it's like taking a boxer versus snake. Yeah, I don't that know, but you know what? Win. You know snake what? Get, based off get based hurt. off of based off the story, John Snow is the prevailer. <laughs> oh, that's why I said take away plot armor. He, if you take he's away the all writing protection, no, even if, if even if you, if you didn't, away his vocal even, abilities, but even if you turn. didn't, he's the prevailer. <laughs> I, I just think he got untapped strength. <laughs> it's always the good guy that got untapped. Look, I mean, look at Captain America. He picked up he picked up Thor's hammer. It's always and some you, untapped. Yeah. It's always some yeah. untapped superhuman strength. Like I said, he died. <laughs> he did the die. man he died. Fight himself back to life. Yeah, I, I feel like he can fight dragons. Yeah, <laughs> he, he died. Remember, he squared up on the dragon when Arya went to go kill the Night King. Oh yeah, he sure did. He was right. How you know how angry at everything you have to be to square up on a dragon? I could not be that angry. <laughs> like you have to be ready to throw it all on the line. Bro, like, it ends. I'm in the crypt. Bro, I'm in the crypt. <laughs> hey, no, but real talk, like I love moments like that in movies as a general. Uh -huh. When when the main character or anybody hits that point when they're like, you know what? No more. No, when they when I, I get goosebumps. Now with no like, blue oh, eyes, white time. dragon, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Look, it's time. Like, even uh what was it? Remember the black dude who squared off with Jason? Uh, I oh, forgot yeah. what Jason. No, it, he was throwing hands. Or not or Buster when, Rhymes. Buster I was Rhymes about to say, or when Buster Rhymes. Rhymes did it. Yeah, Buster Rhymes uh, spin kick. Uh, he Eddie did. He <laughs> hit him through the drywall. Yep. <laughs> Buster Rhymes was hitting him with the he Tekken did. Seven. Dog. <laughs> Hey, but no, bro. Like, old boy was throwing hands with Jason and was feeding them hot ones. <laughs> yeah, really yeah, yeah. Like, jabbing him up. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, man, if you just had a little more power behind you. You had a lot of heart. <laughs> oh, but man. no. I'm good. It's like that are like what make movies epic because that is something that's so relatable. Like, being in a, you know, you would hope that if you're ever in a situation that it just feels hopeless that you just get that burst of, you know what? I got to live. But okay, <laughs> see, Jon Snow has had multiple of those. Yes. Oh, Jon Snow took on an army by himself. Yeah, he, he was like, "Fuck it." Hey, ah! you know how bold that made me? Did you see? He didn't even think. He didn't even look back, I, bro. I how think, gangster was that moment? You know why? You know why it's never gangster for me? 
mo- stuff like that in like cartoons and like monster movies. I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. You, you ain't got, you really yeah. ain't got no choice. Yeah. But in like something like this, like a war movie, like I always imagine, like, damn, like, what if you had to fight like that? Like, I always think, I always said to myself, like, how do they know who to hit? Like, <laughs> how I do, never know. How do you know who to punch, who to stab, who to cut? Like, Dude. how do you know that? Like, you, 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 you talking about it's tens of thousands of people sitting on a battlefield fighting. How do you remember everybody's face? Like, them is the questions I got. So, and then everybody got the same access to the same materials. We all wearing leather. Yeah, we, we all <laughs> wearing some form of chain mail. Like, and it ain't like we die in our leather. No, like yeah. we really out here just looking like you know. We ain't got no like different colors. Like you, the home, we the way. Like <laughs> there isn't. It ain't nothing like that. I mean, I I always try to put myself in that situation. Like I'm not doing that. I'm like, yo, try to make it back. That's when I get in that mode, that movie mode. Like when the person in the movie talking to the movie, uh, run. Why are you standing there? I'm in my head. I'm saying to myself, I'm gone. I'm hit the opposite direction. My brother's okay. already dead. He already shot him. It's over. I'm sorry. We're going to come back and get you. <laughs> but the way he looked out, he dropped his sword sheath. He was ready to die. He pulled a biggie. He was ready. He was like, I'm, you know what? Today is the day. Pulled out his sword and they stood strong. You, they, it was got worse than, they got you. They got you. units coming at him. I'm good, bro. And he, he was ready. I was sitting there. I was like, go, John. And <laughs> You, you know what it reminded me of? Have you seen that meme where it's got Batman, Superman, Sonic, and the Flash, and they're getting ready to race? Yeah. I don't know why, but in my heart, I already knew Batman was going to win that race. But see, I Bat- hey, Batman is my favorite DC character it. because he always got a plan. Okay, so okay, now that you say I'm going to tell the differences with that. Batman got a plan for everything. He got a plan. He's planned every single possible scenario ever. True. John Snow just go. He just goes. Like he, yeah. he literally just goes. Like, I don't know nothing. how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do we it. Gonna like, do we're it. gonna do it. So and then he frowns. Yeah. <laughs> then he gets gets into that mode where he got a slow motion stand up and pick his sword. Pick his sword and cut somebody's head off. And then make it look more easy. And then somebody comes Still and sure saves sharp. him. Hey, but but real talk. Okay, so Game of Thrones, I I understand it. Mm-hmm. Looking at it from a perspective of situations, it made sense. So and I got out it. of out of a, a five, let's do a five star rating. What do you give season eight? Two and a half. Two and a half. Okay. Two and a half. Only because on its own, it's still it doesn't. If you took it away from itself from the series and you just showed it to people, it would be kind of confusing. Of course. Like I, I don't care what series I'm watching. I feel like any given season, I should be able to get a solid just of what happened, what's going on and what the plan is. I'm going to disagree with that. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you why, <clears throat> because with a, with a show that in depth with any great show, <clears throat> that's a, it, it's a great show. So with, the, okay. So with a, any great show, that depth, like that deep, with that much star power behind it, with that much storyline behind it, like you can't just say, "Oh well, I get everything from this character. I've seen her story from one season." Especially when you eight seasons in, and when some of the seasons prior to that had way more details into it. Like, I don't think you would be able to see, okay, so me and you can understand why Daenerys did what she did, right? True. But a person just jumping into it won't. And you would never be able to get that if you haven't seen where she came from. Because where she came from was this timid little girl being sold off by her brother, which people just getting in wouldn't have seen that. How she came to become this commanding presence over these, just these these groups, different groups of people, and they all love and respect her, call her queen, treat her like they're one of her own. You know, I mean, look, she 
That's she fair. got all the titles in the world. Like, I don't know how you she get really all does. the titles in the world. She really does. Like, hey, you know, you, right, you know, you make a good point. You're right. So when, like, okay, and then so because I'm I'm thinking about other shows shows as well like that because I would say, um, Breaking Bad, great show, great show, right? Up there with the favorites. Sorry about that. I think I'm getting a little sick. You won't be able to see everything from one season. You won't be able to get the feel of everything from one season with some of the main characters, like with but the I, life. But I, I'm going to be honest, though. I think in comparison to that, I could take any season of Breaking Bad and it would stand on its own. But you would be lost. No. But you would be the, lost. It not, not Okay, so, so let's do this. Let's try, let's try to think of a show where you can pull from the middle season. A show with at least, like, let's say five seasons where you can pull okay. from season three, four, and say, we're going to, you're going to start watching from here. The only okay. show that I can probably think of, and that was because of the, uh, how many flashbacks was in it, is Spartacus. We were just talking about Spartacus. Mm-hmm. Spartacus is one of them shows where, because of the flashbacks, you can kind of put the pieces together. Got you. By you know just from watching one episode or whatever, um, or not not one episode, one season. I'm trying to think of another show like that where you can literally just take it and say, "Here, you're gonna watch from right here," and you would be able to understand this character, even if you even if you're not talking about all the main characters, but just like this character only. I think a good. I think a lot of good examples would be a lot of cartoons. Okay, like, ca- cartoons. Um, so the Avatar, I think you could pull any season, and for the most part, it stands on its own. Okay, uh, it carries its own weight. Um, Samurai Jack. Um, I'm trying to think. Samurai uh, Jack was my shit, man. Samurai Jack was everything. Bro. Samurai Jack was, and it was so sad in the end of all of that. Spoiler alert. All he got was a peace, peaceful past. Mm-hmm. That's all he got out of all he went through. Lived lifetimes, killed countless monsters, oh, yes. saved millions of lives, and all he got out of it was a peaceful past. Almost like none of it ever happened. Mm-hmm. That that was the saddest, most realistic thing I've ever seen, ever. And I was hurt watching. <laughs> I was hurt. I was like, he got nothing out of that but peace and a good memory. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like, you, man, back to the past. Samurai Jack. (laughs) Like, they told you what it was about. Like, gotta get back to the past. Like, that was what it was all all for. But, okay, so moving on, you made a good point that that was a very fair point. It was a very in-depth show that did require you to watch it from beginning to end. So to try to pull it on its own mm-hmm. was, but I think the point I was, no, I'm just, let's move on. You, you're absolutely, you're right. Let's move on to E3. Now I'm going to jump first on this one. I am not excited at all. Really? And I, 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 I thought, mean, I thought you would have been excited. No, I'm going to tell you why, because the way they're teasing us with this new generation of consoles it's bothering me. Like it's almost to the point where I'm over it. You you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I I don't know if it's me being older, uh, me having different worries in life. It could be a lot of different reasons. It's probably all of the above. But I'm just at this point, I'm like, I'm over it. And then all the leaks. Then you got companies like Bethesda doing crazy stuff, and then like. I'm excited that I guess there's certain things I'm excited about, like um, what game did they announce that got leaked? Um, the Surge Two, well, that was already kind of released, but they, they a release date yeah. got leaked. Um, with uh, there was another game that I seen that caught me off guard. Oh, even some info about Pokemon Sword and Shield that they're adding another 133 Pokemon. Mm. That dope, like. That, that, that is super dope. That's the that's the hype factor. I was just telling you. I thought it was on purpose. Uh, I was just telling you that. It probably was. 
They said the they said the Pokédex is going to run up to nine hundred and forty one. Mm. That's without including special regional bro, types. If, if that don't get you hype, bro, I don't know what else will bro, show. What I'm shit. telling you, I'm pumped. And then for me, I'm already I'm going to pick up the shield because I got a funny feeling because we talked about this before. Um, I said I was everybody's going to be Pokemon Sword. Yeah, everybody don't want who want to be Pokemon Shield. No. But I already know they're gonna put dope monsters, uh, dope Pokemon, on Shield. Shield. I already know they're gonna add something. They're gonna add something to force people to want it. But you, you know what? I was reading an article right, and it was talking about how a lot of people who play Pokemon always get the one. What? No, they, I'm sorry. They were explaining why people who play Pokemon should always get the game that you're not that you don't expect to get. Because mm-hmm. your second playthrough should always be on the one that you want to play on. That way mm-hmm. you can actually catch them all. But I mean, with the way Pokemon is set up nowadays, you can play one and game get and get the full game experience with all the Pokemon because of trading and the internet and things like that. So uh, normally I remember going back playing multiple playthroughs. I mean, I just recently did it the top of or um, last year. The middle of last year, yep, played all of exactly. So playing these different, the different games to get to actually catch all the Pokemon in in each game. Whereas I caught all the ones I can possibly catch in this one. I'm gonna use this one now to get the ones that I need to get for that one. That type of way. So it's like, oh yeah, play the one that you don't really want. Then play the one that you really want, but. Uh, instead of doing the reach, because imagine having to do the, okay. So listen, all the Pokemon I want sword. So all the Pokemon I can't catch in sword are this fifty three. So yeah. I'm gonna only catch this fifty three, and then I'm gonna play <laughs> sword and catch all of them. Uh huh. That's too much. And you know what? You know what? For me, man, what I gotta stay away from to really enjoy this game is I gotta stay far away from um, the random Pokemon trade. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot what it's called, but um, the, the um, where you can deposit a Pokemon and then like and you the just random get whatever it's called in the universe offers you. Yeah, that spoiled me rotten because I got dope Pokemon out of there. <laughs> like people was godsend. I was like, oh, you gonna bless me with this for my cheap <laughs> oh, little um, my little zigzag, that, my little uh, what was it called? Um, the little raccoon thing, the zigzag, zigzagoon, or whatever. Zigzagoon. Yeah, zigzagoon. I was like, "You gonna bless me with this? A starter Pokemon for this? Oh, <laughs> God, it's good." Mm-hmm. Hey, I was terrible with it. I know people was mad at my trades. I would legit go out with a bunch of Pokeballs and catch out, catch a bunch of crap Pokemon just to go and trade them in for greater ones. Oh my god! I would just sit. I was. Ter- I wouldn't even advance in the game. I was just stay in the first area. I was addicted, like because it was it was like gambling. It was like, ooh, what am I gonna get? Uh, and it would be another sequel. Bro, like, you damn, wild. I can't believe. Hey. It. Yeah, oh, it ruined it. Absolutely ruined the game for me. So I'm gonna stay far away from that um, until like that's gonna be something tail end after I've done everything I felt I wanted to do. Okay, and I'm just bored. Um, because otherwise it'll break it for me. It'll make it to where I'm, I'm like, why am I even playing? Um, but okay, so moving on with uh, with what I'm pumped about, which is not very much for E3. Um, they did announce, um, excuse me, um, they announced Baldur's Gate 3. I'm a heavy RPG guy, I'm excited for that. I'm hoping that's legit. I'm hoping that it is that. I hope they don't pull a uh, what game was it where they made a mobile version? Was it Doom Eternal or something? And they're like, "What is this?" Yeah, the community was so mad. They were like, "What do you mean?" I think they made a mobile game or something like that. And they were like, "Well, does it have plans to come?" No, not Doom Eternal. What was it called? Uh, oh my god, it was it like ruined the whole conference. Ah, oh, it's gonna let know. us know in the comments because I want to move on. But and um, what else? What else had me hyped? That they may be revealing the new Xbox consoles. So yes, I'm butthurt about it, and I'm mad they keep dangling this. They, you know what it is? It's not that they're dangling the fruit. It's they're acting like they're not going to come out with a new console. Haven't you? Do you get that feel? They keep acting like we know it's time. Yeah, but they're acting like they're 
they're not going to do it. Well, because I mean that they they have to sell it. They have to sell it. They have to sell it for E3. You know. And guess what? Huh? Before I forget, I'm gonna let you go. Oh. I already know. You know it's time for new console releases. Did you notice all the big sales on all the top consoles? Oh yeah. I just was like, reading Xbox One X is like 350 bucks with a game and two controllers. Yeah, it make me want to. I want to go get a PlayStation. I almost Pro. wanted to get one just on GP, but I'm like, no, because then as soon as I buy it, they're gonna tell me, oh, so and so's coming out. I'm like, well, whack. I mean, you. So you heard the rumors though. With, let's touch on Sony real quick. You heard okay, the rumors cool. with Sony though, right? Where you you would actually be able to. Uh, have compatibility to play with people on PlayStation 4. So PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 players will be able to play together. Um, That, um, I like that, uh, but Mm -hmm. I don't see it lasting long because they want you to go by the PlayStation It would probably be for the first wave of games. Yeah. So like the the games that get released with the console. Mm -hmm. And then they'll try to kind of go away from that. Um, I, I'm I'm okay with waiting because Sony. I mean, Sony's cool. Sony mm-hmm. won the last console war. Yes, they did. Xbox has to to figure it out, and yes, if they, they come to E3 with BS, the community yeah. will let them know. The community did yeah. it already yeah. last last go around. Yeah. So this one, I'm this not. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I just want to say that X, I mean I'm not an Xbox main, so I think that Microsoft is going to go to. They have the whole show. You're, I mean, arguably you can argue which ones one and two between Xbox and Sony or Xbox and PlayStation. Um, you can argue who's one and two, right? Depending on who you are, depending on what your family <laughs> system is. Sure into exactly. Uh, you can argue that. They have the floor by themselves, pretty much. Like, not even don't let's not talk about Nintendo. Let's not talk about PC right now. When it comes to one and two, potentially one has the floor all to himself because Sony's not going to be there. Why yep. not make the most out of it? So I'm expecting them to do what they should do: is win over the crowd, take oh, over. It's a wrap, bro. Yeah, they they gotta come out either either so many exclusives that is stupid. And no, and you know what I don't want? I'm so sorry, I keep cutting you no, off. No, you good, you good. What I don't want to see is a bunch of indie exclusives that will eventually make their way to Nintendo Switch. I don't want that. Do not lead your show with <laughs> that. Do not lead your show with um Gears of War. Do not lead your show. Like, yeah, we know those titles are coming. You've already told us that. Yeah. I want you to hit me over the head with something new. So I want a new I want at least three new major triple triple A title IPs. And uh I need that. Because otherwise, I'm sitting here, I'm like, here we go again. Because Xbox, they started off with the promise of a bunch of different IPs. Um, not even that many, actually. Crackdown 3, which barely came out this year, Scalebound, um, Halo, uh, what was the other one for this console, this console generation, Xbox got played. Now they made they made good moves for the future. I just hope the future that they made these moves for is this generation coming up. That's all I that's all I ask. Because they made some good moves. They bought up a bunch of dope small um small developers. Uh, small studios, mm-hmm. they bought dope ones. Um, they went out and started the whole ID program, the whole indie de- program. Like they've made very positive steps, but at the end of the day, it's like you gave me an expensive arcade. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, being no, real, no. they they sure did. I think they tried to. I think everybody's starting to do that to go heavy, heavy indie. Heavy, heavy, these small games, and most of them come out, and at some point they become free, so people take advantage of it. And when you like, like for example, you're excited to go download a free game; it's free. Yeah, but let's be real: how often you think you're gonna play that game? 
I think out of all the free games I downloaded, I'll probably pay like five. Like, you see what I'm saying? And they've been dope. Yeah. They've been dope games like action and whatnot. But no, but my, my point is I'm afraid of all these big consoles becoming the deep, dark side of the Steam library. Mm-hmm. Full of a bunch of games <laughs> that only like 50 people, uh, very niche games. I, I'm okay with that for PC because PC is so big, so broad. That's what that's for. You know what I mean? Like, I I can't go on my PC and pick up this random game that some guy in Florida made and I'm freaking in love with it. It's only like me and 20 people on the server who ever play it. Mm-hmm. And we have our own wiki page. Like, I play plenty of games like that on PC. I don't want to buy a $500 console to do that. Do you get what I'm saying? I, I want you to hit me. Hit me with an Uncharted. Hit but me I with do, a Dick But don't you think... With, but don't you think that they are bridging that gap just a tad bit? Like too much for me. I mean, it is being. I mean, because okay, but see, this is see, this is the thing though. You have this argument, or you have this this conversation, right? But in the same breath, um, we'll turn around. I, I'm I'm not just saying you, but I'm gonna just say everyone. Let's just say because the majority say, it. give us, give us, um. Cross-platform playing. Give it to us. Why not? You see what I'm saying? Oh, you want to play with the big dogs, but you don't want to be like the big dogs. Like let, it, It's let, kind of... When I hear I think, that, when I hear that, I, I more so get very... Uh, I get confused because it's like, yeah, you... having Think about it. Having the ability to say, hmm, I want to play mouse and keyboard today because I maybe I want to get better at mouse and keyboard so I I can literally bring up the game you can bring up you so uh, which I don't think we're going to get to but you've been playing No Man's Sky right having yes. the ability to say oh you know what I'm bringing my switch to work let me play on my switch today bonk and you can have everything on your account on your switch because of cross platform playing and then say you're at home you know, oh man I want to play on my MNK Bang, switch it over, and you got that. You have that ability. They are bringing Xbox Live to the Nintendo Switch. Exactly. So, so that that world is coming faster than people think. Yeah, so when... But then to to get there, mm-hmm. and then the model works. It just does. Just throw a flurry of stuff at you that you're never going to touch. But you'll pay <laughs> and, for it. But you're going to pay for it. This This is the thing, though. And this is what bothers me, and what a lot of people... A lot of my Xbox people would really hurt me with them, mm-hmm. with the community and with the with the company. We gobbled up a system that was solely based on um, uh, multi platform games. Yeah, that's not good. That's not a good look. Every major game, every top game that's played on Xbox right now is multi platform. Yeah. That's not good. No, do you get what I'm saying? I like get what, exactly what you what, said. I was you hyped me up to buy your system. You pumped it up. You got me on the factor of um, all the things that came with it. You got me on the factor of coming from my, with all my friends from Xbox 360. You pumped me up, and then you only gave me games that I was going to get on any system. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's it, it's cheap. You took you you got me for a big amount. And you hit me over there. Like, think about the okay Xbox One X. All those games that are played on there are AAA games. Yeah, you sold me a pumped up, overpowered unit that only had a two year shelf life. Because I'm guessing the new systems are going to hit next year Christmas. That's my guess. Mm-hmm. Um, you 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 hit me with a two two and a half year, three year shelf life, six hundred dollar, five hundred dollar system. But you gave me no game that would have maxed it out. Yeah, I think I. But I mean, I would say that. And I'm only talking in comparison to PlayStation. Yeah. I, but see, but I mean, PlayStation do it, and but PlayStation does have those those titles that are hey, we only on PlayStation. Thank and you. I think you Spider-Man, need that. Baseball, uh, Spider Man, MLB, MLB, no, God of War. Rid- 
Yeah, God of War. Um, um, what just came out recently? Uh, Days Gone. Days like, Gone. Yep. Like you're, I can go. Oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, that's our PlayStation. Um, these are amazing story driven. Not even just because they're story driven, but these are amazing games. That those games are enough, which were enough to make me buy a PlayStation. Now, of course, No Man's Sky is now on Xbox too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but my point is. Those you, hell, it don't take much. So the mixing, five the games, melting pot, five games. That's all. Look. <laughs> so it. the mixing of the melting pot is what you don't want. Um. No. 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 I. What I. What I don't want is for you to sell me because you know they're gonna come out the gate four ninety nine five hundred. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to sell me a five hundred dollar system that has all these strong capabilities, this, that, and the third, but you don't give me nothing exclusive to flex your muscle. Okay. Like, remember when it first came out, what did they give? Rome? What was it? Son of Rome? I don't even remember. I, know I think when, it was Son of Rome. When, when uh, Xbox came out, it wasn't even about like no video games. games. It, it was, was like about the system. Yeah. It was about the system and what it was capable of doing, using, talking to your damn, the camera... And I still got, I still use being able to connect it to your cable box. That was uh, what, but it, and then PlayStation won the crowd over because it was all about games. Literally, throw a flurry of games at you. Hey, PlayStation Plus, you get a free uh, game, free PlayStation Four game, free PlayStation Three game, and then you get free indie games. What? I get all of that, <laughs> and I'm gonna yeah. get PlayStation Plus anyway. Shit, where do I sign up at? Uh-huh. And that oh man, and think about how tough that was for PlayStation. Let's be real, let because we're on the last moments. Um, because I didn't realize we were at time. Mm-hmm. Think about how tough it was for PlayStation to take over. You not only had to because remember, Xbox was the game, was the Xbox 360 was the console for competitions, was the mainstream everything. So, not only did you have to trump that, but remember, PlayStation Online was free, yeah, you had to convince people to now pay for the service. So you convince people to pay for the service and you still outsold the guy who had the leg up. Yeah. And that you, was that was because they had like they had to they not had only to, win the crowd they over, had, they had to continue to win yes. the crowd over. So what 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 do we oh, do? Then they took over all major gaming exclusives from Call of Duty to Destiny. You you swept the board. Like yeah. you they legit like I'm you're talking to a guy who has all systems. I play PC not much, but I play PlayStation and Xbox. I will rotate in a minute. In one stream, I went from playing my PlayStation No Man's Sky to jumping on into my Xbox playing Battlefield. Mm-hmm. Like I, I'm that guy. So I'm talking from a very honest, equal place. I've spent money on all of them. Yeah, I got one, but it no, but he plays like I do. Like yeah. I've I've done thirty I'm, I'm loyal to the blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but no, my my point is me and where I stand on it is I'm trying to be very fair mm-hmm. and I'm and honest to God laying it out for people who think Xbox didn't play us, Microsoft didn't play us out. You're silly and you you're lying to yourself. But some people we, probably don't care that and that's because fine. because be, and let's be real. Most of the times, uh, exclusive, huh? Keep going. Most of the time, um, exclusives to a console, they they only do good in that realm. Outside sure. of that realm, Very they true. don't go nowhere else. So, Very like, true. yeah, you may be you may be a God of War fan and you may be an Xbox player, but you'll play it, but you'll never revisit it. it literally, you put it on your resume. I beat God of War three. Now I'm back mm-hmm. to playing two K on my God my PlayStation, and that's that. Those are the games, the, the games that everyone can play last long. I mean, I mean, we can go on and on and on about that. Look at all the sports games except for baseball. Look at Destiny. Look at Call of Duty. I mean, you can go on and oh. on about that. So, Call of Duty: Modern Warfare. What you think about it? I think yeah. that they have it. I got. I can go on in days. So we gotta say that for next week. Next week, I'm gonna okay. tell you why I. Yeah, I'm going to just go next week, next week. because I got okay. a lot to say about that. 
Yeah, we, we could do a half an episode on that. Mm-hmm. Okay, folks. Well, we went over time a little bit. Sorry, Tone. Um, oh, my bad, Tone. <laughs> I, I forgot all about Tone, man. <laughs> Come on, stop! (laughs) Y'all shut up! Hey, hey, but I think we're pretty light when it comes to time, like compared to a lot of other shows. I've been seeing shows that go like ninety minutes. Yeah, but but that's because that was our limit. That was like, hey, listen, let's put a limit on it because we could do this all day. Let's knock a limit on there. So once we see the limit, it's like, all right, cool, we got to stop. Oh, we got to start winding down. Yeah. Well, um, I I really just want to say thank you guys. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time on all the different platforms, everything from Spreaker to God, everything. iTunes, iTunes, Apple, Spotify, um, all of that. You can hear us everywhere. And that's through the power of Tone Deaf Network. Much love to the family. Yeah. Uh, awkwardly awkward, uh, hostially awkward, um, Deaf Fresh Show. Um, I mean, the Man Cave. All of them shows, man. Check it out. There's so many other great shows besides us. Mm-hmm. And we're pretty awesome. And we made the cut to get on the lineup. So, you know, hey. I'm, I still pinch myself about that. Right? <laughs> like, somebody took the time to look at us and be like, hey, we want you to join our we network. Want them. Like, what? You want me? Oh, oh me? Oh. <laughs> uh, but, really? But like, all right, man. That's going to do it for us. Yep. Up for us. This today. is Adventures of the Black Nerds. I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones. Check out all the links below, everything from Nerds Noir to our individual YouTube pages. And I don't stream on Twitch no more. Uh I'm a Facebook guy. It's official? Like forever, ever? Forever, ever? Yeah, it's, it's yeah, I haven't been on Twitch in so long. I get hey, crazy man. emails like, hurry up, come back. <laughs> yeah, I but, was I was weighing the options. I was reading There's no room to grow right now on Facebook because Facebook is still new. Yeah. Yeah, I was uh, looking at that. I got. I it's just, less than a year in. I got to finish this. Let me be honest with y'all. I got to finish this school, and then I'll get right back onto the, yeah, the stream. Man. So, all right, I right. peace, peace.